guys, it's Nicole, and it is officially the Femme Marathon has started for me. It is 12.14 Pacific Standard Time, and excuse me if I sound weird, I am a little bit sick, and there are people partying outside my house, and I don't know why, and I wish they would shut up, because I'm really, really would be down to just go to sleep right now. Um, anyway, I don't think I'm going to do all that much reading tonight before I go to bed. Um, I might start something. I think I'll start Your Welcome Universe. That sounds like a good one to be reading right now, but I'll probably only read like a chapter or two um, before taking NyQuil and crashing and praying I feel better in the morning. I'm fine. It's just like a head cold type thing. Um, it's just like not fun and super not great timing because like it is both Femparathon and midterms week. So anyway, I am going to go do a little bit of reading and then crash and hopefully I will feel less miserable in the morning. Hey guys, it is, well, I was about to say it's Sunday morning. It's not, it's, it's like noon. I woke up at like 11. Um, but anyway, it is officially the first like day, day, not midnight of the Femme Parathon and that's exciting. Um, like I said I would, I read, I started, um, Your Welcome Universe last night. I only got about 30 pages in, um, before I crashed, but this morning I'm ready to read, and at some point I should go make myself, like, some hot lemonade to help make myself feel more human. Um, at some point today I'm also gonna have to stop reading for Femme Parathon and read Journey to the Center of the Earth, because I have to read that for a class. So that should be an interesting contrast, because it's, like, very much not Femme Parathon kind of reading. I will be... I mean, it's classic sci-fi, so, like, I'll be surprised if there's more than one prominent female character. I'd rather be reading for Femme Parathon all day, but, you know. I am gonna go read. I think we're gonna start some sprints soon. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Hey, guys. So it's just about four o'clock, and I just finished Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gar Gar Gardner. Ah, uh, names are hard right now. Um, so I think I am going to start... I think I'm probably going to start Genuine Broad, um, which wasn't in my TBR, I know, but I realized that it's kind of a mystery suspense kind of thing, um, is at least what it's being marketed as, um, and so maybe I'll read that instead of My Best Friend's Exorcism, because then I'll be reading books all written by women, which would be great. And also, like, it's really, really, really short, um, so I think I'll probably spend the rest of the day reading Genuine Fraud and Journey to the Center of the Earth, which I still haven't started. Oops. Okay. Well, I'm going to go keep reading now. I will talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so it's just past six o'clock and I am about 100 pages into Genuine Fraud, but I wanted to take a second to talk about today's Femme Power Prompt because that's the thing that we're doing this uh, this week, this Femme power -thon. Uh Taylor and I thought it would be fun to give you guys some prompts of things to talk about blog post, YouTube video, Instagram post, whatever, like Twitter response, whatever format you guys want to respond in is fine. Just uh, send it to us at Fempowerthon using the hashtag Fempowerprompt and you'll be entered in a giveaway contest. I believe the giveaway for today is a copy of Mimp Magazine. Use the hashtag Fempowerprompt to send that to us. But today's question is what is a female character who's had an impact on you? One of my favorite movies when I was a kid was Atlantis, the, the like Disney movie. Um, and Kida in that is so, like she's strong and she's a badass and like she'll totally kick your ass, but she's also like so caring and loving and her people mean so much to her. And she's willing to like sacrifice everything to save them. And I think that's so beautiful. And like that was so inspiring to me growing up and I looked up to her so much. She's always been one of my favorite Disney characters, and I think it's a shame that, like, Atlantis doesn't get more love in, like, the fandom and in the parks, etc. So yeah, uh, Kira is, Kira Kakash is my answer for a female character who's had an impact on me. Hey guys, it's now almost 1am, and I haven't really done much more reading. Um, I've just been kind of surviving, <laughs> um, not well. Uh, I, like, watched the new Outlander episode, and then I rewatched the second to last episode of The Bold Type, um, to make myself, I don't know, distract myself from feeling like shit, uh, but, like, I want nothing more than to take these beautiful, beautiful, annoyingly large NyQuil pills and crash, but I have to host sprints, and 
I am, I promise I'm only, I'm only bitter about that because I'm sick and I want to go to sleep. I love hosting sprints. It's fun. I love interacting with you guys, but yes, I could definitely use the sleep, but my marathon's more important. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to go host some sprints and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it's like 2 a.m. I just finished doing some sprints, some like really quick sprints. Um, I got about 60 pages into Journey to the Center of the Earth and I was right. Yeah, it's like no female characters. It's also like kind of weirdly written. I don't know. I must say I prefer the Josh Hutcherson movie. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep now and then I'll edit this in the morning and post it for my day one update. I'm sorry I'm not very interesting today, guys. I'm just like dealing with being sick and just super fun stuff like that okay i'm gonna crash now i love you guys i will see you tomorrow